All right, so with me, you know, in my in my career path, you know, being a performance trainer, um, I'm typically, I'm, I'm, I'm not typically, but I'm always trying to challenge my athletes uh, to make them um, better athletes, all right? And one way, like get them stronger, get them faster, more explosive. But the, the big thing, the big takeaway is make them react faster. So, um, so there's a couple of things, you know, that you can be able to do is be able to, to um, heighten their senses. Um, typically you see people, you know, with, you know, stability, you know, taking away a leg or, um, you know, having them balance or balance on, you know, stability discs or balls and whatnot. But, you know, that's fantastic and all. But another way that I think is like the next, the next level is when you, uh, their vision. You know, when you start to not take everything away, but you start to limit the amount of information that they're receiving. So they really have to process information quickly. And so with these uh, with these strobes, um, I'm able to to be able to to do that and I can be able to progress, you know, with the different movements, but also with the level of information that they're getting. Um, so, that, I mean, that's why I really uh, am a huge fan of, of uh, Synaptic and and um, I'm going to kind of walk through some of the drills that we did today. So on the first drill, um, I had my athlete just react off me just pointing. So he has to be very quick and side to side. Uh, the next one, the next level progression was now he had to be able to give ground still while staying, while staying square. And then the last one would be he had to keep his hands on me like so to kind of mimic what it would look like as if he's covering a wide receiver. After that, then we uh, we progressed to where he had to um, be in sync with me. So if I'm a receiver down the field, he's he's turning and looking back when I look back. And then after that, he was out of sync where he's beat. But now he has to play my hands. OK. Um, after that, we got into uh, where he was in trail technique, where he really had to, to, to mimic my speed and see how fast I was going, but still staying underneath me. And then uh, I think the next progression was um, we got the ball and we did ball drills where he had the high point, the football and catch it at his, at his highest point. Okay, on this one, uh, my, my athlete, I had him uh, read a three-step drop or a five-step drop. If it's a three-step drop, he has to stop and you know for the short pass if it's a five-step drop he has to turn and open up his hips and run 